fancy the curry today for lunch. So I've done one based on a Bangladeshi recipe of Rick Stein's from a Far East and Odyssey book. I'm going to start with the spice paste. I've got a bit of milk in there. Okay. I'm going to put in a bit of turmeric. Now I'm just going to mix that up. Then I'm going to set that to one side just to rest and infuse and all the rest of it. Steam and dissolved. Don't get it on your clothes because it stains like buggery. Your wife will kill you. Next stage. Boil some water in and a good amount of sultanas. Right? Go for the best you can afford. I'm skint, so I've gone for smart price. Mmm, these are tasty. I, li I like eating sultanas. You need to try and keep some of them in there. Mmm. No. No, not that one either. Mmm. Onion. Gonna slice this thinly without taking my fingers off. Gotta fry off the onions now. Mustard oil in at the bottom of the wok. A fair old slug of it in there. Just gonna leave that to warm up a little bit. The oil's heated up now. In go the onions. You can hear them sizzling away. I'm gonna fry them off till they soften and brown slightly. Not too much, but enough to get a decent flavour out of them. Juice 10p curry leaves from Asda which have been in the freezer. Okay, I've got precisely 118 curry leaves. They're going to go into the Kenwood liquidizer. Also going in, a couple of teaspoons coriander powder. Okay, they're heat teaspoons because I like lots of flavour, lots of spice. A good teaspoons of cumin powder. Got to sort the rest of my ingredients now. So, I'm going to use chilli, right? a bit of red, a bit of green, a bit of yellow. I'm going to whip the um, seeds out so it's not too fierce, and I'm going to chop them up. Ginger, peeled already, I'm going to chop that into little bits, really whiz that up and all. Garlic, rough chop it. Now my nuts. Got a mixture of almonds and pistachios. There's precisely that amount there. Just going to give them a bit of a chop as well. You can use flaked almonds. You can use pistachios that you shell yourself. Do whatever. Okay. As long as you get the actual nuts in there, that's fine. That's all going to go into the liquidizer with the rest of the stuff. Going to pop the turmeric milk in there. Tarnas have puffed up a little bit. Not massively, and quite nice and tender. Whack that in there. Lastly, the onions. Nice and soft, nicely browned off. They're going in the liquidizer as well. Juice from two limes going in. Precisely that many millilitres. Last bit, natural yoghurt. You want to have a good hearty glug of that. Okay, a glug is approximately between three and six tablespoons, depending on how much you feel like on the day. You don't need to be precise with any of this because, quite frankly, you're cooking. There you go, that's all in there, ready for whizzing up on the Kenwood. Right, let's go on with the spice paste. Make sure you get your lid on, so if this stuff goes everywhere, you've had it. Unless we're all right. Right, that's my spice paste all done. Let's have a look. Yeah, looks okay to me. Well, looks like cat vomit. Yeah, smells good. Quick cucumber rater. Bit of pepper. Exactly that amount, precisely that much salt, well go on, just a little bit more, but exactly a little bit more, right, 
I've got some reduced price mint down to 55p. It's not that cheap, but it'll do. That's been in the freezer. You shouldn't freeze it, you should use fresh in capital letters apparently. Heresy not using fresh stuff. <laughs> okay, got me a, a cleaver for Christmas. So I'm going to use that to chop these up. Always wanted a cleaver. Makes me feel big and strong like a Chinese assassin. Goes into the bowl as well. As you can see, I did, a, did an exact amount. Now for some cucumber. Right, cut it in little bits like that. Gonna cut it into matchsticks. Sometimes I grate them to do it, but uh, matchsticks have a little bit more chunk and I've got a bit more time for it all to sort of blend in with itself. Right, nice little flat bit there. I'll do those bits in a sec. This is my normal knife. In fact, to use my normal knife for this. Right, they're going to go in. See, all nice and fine. But enough crunch in those to be worth eating. I've now got exactly that amount of cucumber in there. So I'm going to put precisely seven dollops of yoghurt in there. I'm going to mix it all together. Right, that's all mixed and that's all ready. So I'm going to leave that to sit for the rest of the um, morning. So a couple of hours before we eat. That'll let the flavours all infuse nicely. Next stage is to fill up the whiting that I've taken out of the freezer. Now, contrary to the opinion of one dickhead on YouTube, these were all sizeable. I do only take sizeable whiting because quite frankly there's no point filleting and eating ones that aren't. Let's get on and fillet them. My first pair of fillets. Pop them in my pan. Right, I've got all my fillets. I'm now going to put the spice paste over it. Hmm, got more than I need. Let's reserve some of that for another day. Unless it tastes like shit, in which case I'll bin it all. Make sure they all get a good coating. Now I'm going to wash my fingers, because otherwise I'm going to have yellow hands for the next three weeks. Let's put these in the oven. 200 degrees, 25 minutes. Let's see how they go. I'll check them at 15 though, just in case. I've baked it for about 20 minutes at 200 degrees, which is gas mark something. I've then grilled it slightly on the top, just to char the top bits, okay? Get me some little black bits on there. Now my wife will probably moan, she doesn't like sort of charred things all that much. But I do, and I'm cooking both of us, not just for her. So lift my white and fillets out. There you go. Let's just separate them slightly as well. As you can see, the spice paste has dried up nicely. This is kind of a dryish meal, like sort of masala or madras or whatever they call it. Okay, let's go for a bit of the rata. Okay, put a bit on that side and a bit on that side. Okay, just to even it up a bit. A bit more on the presentation side. Just finish it off with a little bit of chilli. And there we go. Looks good, huh? Yeah. That's really good. Mm. Works hot and cold, that does. Mm. Yeah, I'm some more. Bon appetit, fellas.